Hey everyone, it is the Local Turlock Podcast. It is November 20th, 2020. We have all kinds of uh, fun things to talk about and also not so fun, such as the county going back to the purple tier, which we uh, will find all about what that means. There's a statewide limited curfew to start Saturday, plus the county levels are such that there are more restrictions placed. We will be talking about the latest scoops, news, stories, and the business spotlight for the week. Rather than cancel the event because of the coronavirus pandemic, the annual Christmas fundraiser gets creative to give back during the pandemic. And just as local businesses got used to the, let me find my slot, got used to the idea of having customers inside of their established once more, Stanislaus County pushed back into the purple tier and Turlock businesses try to stay afloat under this restrictive tier. We'll be talking about how the homeless individuals in town will soon have a place to securely store their belongings, that uh, the uh, Turlock Gospel Mission has purchased property for a storage facility. There is some uh, holiday news, including something where the city of Turlock has come up with yet another way for residents to spread holiday cheer despite these dismal times. There is a blanket drive uh, organized by some Pittman High School students, and we will be talking about uh, World Kindness Day and a couple of uh, local businesses to talk about, plus the COVID-19 status in Stanislaus County. First up, the annual Christmas fundraiser gets creative to give back during the pandemic. This is on Turlock Journal. For nearly 40 years, the city's local base of real estate agents has come together to host their annual breakfast that benefits Turlock families who are most in need. Rather than cancel the event because of the coronavirus pandemic, the typical morning filled with food and charity will look a bit different this year, but still reinforce the spirit of giving. This year, the Turlock branch of the Central Valley Association of Realtors put their heads together to make sure they could host their annual Can Tree event in a safe manner. Instead of hosting an indoor breakfast with the rising sun, as was the norm in years past, the event will be held under the stars. Christmas Can Tree Under the Stars will feature an outdoor drive-in movie, tri-tip dinner, and auctions in a fun-filled evening that seeks to help Turlock together and join the Turlock Salvation Army fight holiday hunger. Those who purchase tickets to Christmas Can Tree Under the Stars will be treated to a tri-tip dinner beginning 5 p.m. December 2nd at the Go Drive Up Theater in Turlock. Let me show some of the this text and this number. So the Go Drive Up Theater in Turlock. As they eat, guests can bid on several client auction items or take place in a live auction, both of which will last until 6.30 p.m. Then the drive-in theater will play a showing of the 1994 holiday classic, The Santa Claus. Tickets to Christmas Can Tree Under the Stars can be purchased for $20 by contacting Yagi at 209-605-3102 or Sherry at bhhsdrysdale.com. And uh, we'll have on localturlock.com, we'll have the uh, all these these links. I don't want to rattle off a bunch of email addresses, numbers, that's not interesting. Uh, and then we'll also put a link to the uh, these notes under, under this video itself too in, in a little while. Next, Turlock businesses try to stay afloat under restrictive tier. Just as local businesses got used to the idea of having customers inside of their establishments once more, Stanislaus County was pushed back into the purple, more restrictive tier of reopening on Monday, and patrons were pushed back outside. So check this out. This is kind of interesting, right? The, the gym. So this is Brenda Athletics Club. They moved the gym outside to uh, you know keep you from being in that enclosed air. But we said that for a few weeks, the Turlock economy showed signs of resurgence and normalcy as Stanislaus County remained in the red tier, with diners enjoying meals indoors and gym goers returning to the treadmills at gyms as the temperature outdoors steadily dropped. As COVID-19 cases surged both locally and statewide, however, Monday saw Newsom place 41 counties back into the purple tier, Stanislaus County included. Now, gyms and fitness centers can operate outside only, and restaurants must return to serving patrons in an outdoor setting. 
retailers must operate at 25% capacity, back down from 50% in the red tier, and churches must close their pews off to the public once again. The announcement wasn't a complete shock, as Stanislaus County was placed in the purple tier by the state last week but had appealed the decision. Monday saw those hopes come to an end. And next, in some more positive news, there is a Turlock Homeless Storage Facility project moving forward. Turlock's homeless individuals will soon have a place to securely store their belongings, following the City Council's approval of a loan to the Turlock Gospel Mission to purchase property for the purpose of a storage facility. This project first came before the City Council in December 2019 as part of a list of homeless emergency aid program projects. HEAP HEAP was signed into law by then Governor Jerry Brown in June 2018 and opens up a $500 million block grant to provide direct assistance to cities and counties to help with homelessness. So the idea here is uh, personal storage to allow people to store their belongings. It helps to reduce the hoarding and the need for shopping carts to hold their belongings. Community-wide lights tour aims to spread Christmas cheer. As the community copes with the cancellation of its annual downtown Christmas parade, the city of Turlock has come up with yet another way for residents to spread holiday cheer despite these dismal times. Homes, neighborhoods, and businesses can share their Christmas spirit with passers-by this winter by registering to be a part of the first annual Turlock Holiday Lights Tour. City Council Member Nicole Larson said that as she saw nearby communities promoting their own home decorating contest during Halloween, she thought the idea could be executed in Turlock during the holidays and give the community something safe and fun to look forward to during the coronavirus pandemic. I'm pulling this up. It looks like we had to fix that cityofturlock.org slash holiday lights. Well, there's a bad link there. And we, how are we at holiday lights tour? Holiday lights tour. Okay, so we're on cityofturlock.org slash holiday lights tour. And uh, so this concept is that participants register their holiday decorated home, neighborhood, or organization under the correct category at cityofturlock.org slash holiday lights. The tour will officially begin on December 1st, and the community will be able to access a map on the city's webpage that will identify the participating locations. The city is accepting 25 addresses per category, and community members can register now through November 27th. Addresses must be within Turlock city limits, and between December 14th and 16th, judges will choose winners for three categories, best use of lights, best use of holiday decor, and best overall. Winners will be announced on December 18th on the City of Turlock website and on social media. Turlock Firefighters Local 2434 is sponsoring the Christmas Cruise and will be collecting canned goods and new toys for Turlock together at the event. The city is encouraging community members to stop by the fairgrounds and then continue their evening with the Holiday Lights Tour. For additional event details, Follow the City of Turlock Parks, Recreation and Public Facilities Department page on Facebook and Instagram. So let's find that too. So we were at cityofturlock.org slash holiday lights tour. And then we are also following facebook.com slash Turlock Recreation. And then here's where they will tell you about all kinds of these uh, fun things like the Christmas Cruise and the uh, Holiday Lights Tour. So yeah, that's cityofturlock.org slash Holiday Lights Tour to get to that uh, correct link. And we'll fix that in the notes as well. Okay, next. Pittman students celebrate kindness with Blanket Drive. A group of Pittman High School students celebrated World Kindness Day by spreading goodwill and warmth to the homeless community. The PHS Associated Student Body Juniors were able to collect 68 blankets to donate to the Turlock Salvation Army, which will distribute them to those in need during their weekly breakfast on Sunday. According to Pittman student Karan Sumau, who serves on the Junior Cabinet, the group came up with the idea during their meeting on November 4th and were able to promote the blanket drive on social media. In just over a week, 
The group had nearly 70 brand new blankets on their hands. Sumal said this seemed like a foolproof way to give back from a distance during the pandemic and adhere to state guidelines for school groups. In addition to homeless community members, the blankets will also likely go to families who may need them at home but are unable to afford their own. The blanket drive also served as a way for students to feel connected even though they're studying at home. Sumal encouraged others who are feeling lonely, sad, or even bored during the pandemic to organize an act of kindness. And now we have two things left on the agenda, the coronavirus update for this week and we will mention two local businesses. Let's talk about COVID-19 and new cases and you can always check the numbers at uh, localturlock.com and then on the side there's the COVID-19 daily numbers even though they changed the link also. All right, so SCH sa.org and okay so now it's just sca schsa.org slash coronavirus and we're looking at 400 deaths in san Oslos county and let's see what the total uh update is for this week Stanislaus County once again had a large increase in COVID-19 cases and in hospital admissions the state reported 133 positive tests on Tuesday in Stanislaus, up 100 or up from 105 the previous day. The numbers far surpassed the daily average of 40 that could have prevented this week's tightening of rules. Meanwhile, the county reported late Wednesday afternoon an additional 148 positive test results. Governor Gavin Newsom on Monday ordered Stanislaus and 40 other counties back to the purple tier. It is the strictest of the four for business and public gatherings. The County Health Services Agency announced that deaths to the virus remained at 413 on Wednesday. It reported that 19,658 residents have tested positive, 113,000 have tested, tested negative, and 18,000 are presumed recovered. And then as far as the, the city breakdown, Modesto has 7,300 cases, Turlock is at 2,700, and Ceres is at 2,300, so slowly uh, climbing. But let's shift gears and talk about Francisco's Towing. So let's see if we can find Francisco's Towing right here in Turlock, California, facebook.com slash Turlock Tow Guy, and... Uh, $45 Turlock in-town tow or lockout service. And his website is Francisco, well, his website is down. Man, today is just not our, our day today, right? With web links broken, websites not working, but let's talk about Francisco's Towing. Uh, Francisco's Towing was created with a customer in mind. We have all been there with the struggle of being stranded and their goal is to be a quick, reliable, and courteous tow service at a great price. They specialize in high-end and show-quality vehicles of any sort, whether it's lifted or lowered. Francisco's Towing is also the most reasonably priced in any vehicle towing needs. Their phone number is 209-450-0023 in the Turlock area, Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., closed on Sunday. And the next, I know this guy, Dynamic Handyman Solutions. I've, I've used, I think his name's Kevin. Uh, I've used Kevin for... Uh, things like the, the side of my house was like uh, messed up and there was some kind of weird rot and he fixed it up. But here's Dynamic Handyman Solutions. His website is dynamichandyman.com and he's always showing off all the cool stuff he does. Carpentry, electrical, plumbing, other services. Here's his uh, whole website. Let's find out about Dynamic Handyman Solutions which strives to be the number one handyman service in the greater Turlock area by providing excellent service, reliability, showing up on time, and having a great attitude. Services offered are appliance installation, commercial services, door repair, picture and mirror hanging, caulking, door installation, furniture assembly, and plumbing services. Phone number 209-678-9050 they are, he is open Monday through Friday, 7 to 7, Saturday, 6 to 8, Sunday closed. About what you would expect, right? 
uh, all, all day and all night, more or less, but closed on Sunday. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. Our website is localturlock.com. Here we go, localturlock.com, where we ha- will fix that COVID-19 link, but uh, I like it because I have all the links in one place if I want to see is the uh, is the air back to being at the good levels, looks like it. How's the weather these days? We can see that we're in the 60s coming up. So all your links are here at localturlock.com. And you can always email me at turlock at localturlock.com if you want to say, hey, you want me to mention something on the next podcast, visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash localturlock. Leave us some comments. Stay tuned for next week's exciting episode. Have a great weekend and stay safe.